Hello everyone, welcome to this episode of Market Pulse. I am Ajit Mahali, the founder and mentor at Learn Price Action Trading. Let's take a look at what the indices have been doing and are likely to do in the coming week. On the monthly, after hitting a new high, uh, we have not been able to go beyond that. This month started uh, opening a little high over last year, last month's close, but then we got <clears throat> sold off and again we are moving up. So even if the trend is strong and up, we need to rely on lower time frames to see what the uh, trend is going to be like. So that's the monthly demand zone uh, up to 70,000. 70, so if we start falling on the monthly, there is no demand zone, which will uh, uh, stop the index from going till 1700, but uh, maybe smaller time frame zones. No supply zone on the monthly trend is up uh, on the weekly chart. If you see, we have been seeing injections and uh, making lower lows after this last week's or week's low. We started with uh, a narrow range today. Uh, let's see on a smaller time frame what, where we will uh, move to. So on the weekly chart, the nearest demand zone that we can see where it is likely to go based on certain conditions is going to be this. Right now, it has moved from a, a not so great demand zone. Maybe it might be there on a daily chart. So once we start going below again, uh, a good chance that we will move towards 18,800 based on the weekly chart. Remember, we are very overextended. Uh, one way move from 17,000 all the way to 20,000. So there will be a significant pullback. The pullback could come up to, let's say, at least 19,000 to 18,800. 18, and on the weekly, we are seeing rejections. The more we go up, it is getting sold off. So believe will probably give us better ideas. And that's what the daily shows. We are moving up from a congested area. That's the daily demand zone. From where we have, we have touched it all the way till the distal line. The next demand zone that I would be interested in is going to be somewhere close to 18,800. That also aligns with the weekly chart. On the a uh, daily chart, if I have to draw where would be the main criteria, it would be somewhere close to 19,900. That is the area where it's going to be difficult for the index to move up. And once we close above this, then probably will also be one new high, but that's uh, a little far away as of now. After having the strong sell-off, we started moving up. This is more of pending orders going up. Uh, the gap has been pretty significant, which will hold uh, uh, the index probably at that uh, point in time and the next supply zone starts really at this. So 17, 19,700 to 750 could be the area that uh, Nifty can make an attempt to move to before falling down. And if this supply hold and we start falling, then we could move all the way here. So good margin on the short side, uh, long side should be short term or intraday kind of trades. Uh, coming back to uh, intraday time frame, on the 75 minute chart, uh, there is a clear path uh, for the index at least towards 9, 8, 19, 860. And that's the area of supply which needs to be observed for potential turning point. So, a good chance that markets could turn from these areas. Uh, if, before we move here, if we come down, that could be an area where you can take some intraday or uh, short term income longs. Uh, that's the area of demand zone. Uh, based on the uh, 75 minute chart. So on the 75 minute chart, the range is going to be from 700 to 500. And on the daily, probably from, let's say, 750, 800, all the way towards uh, 300. So a uh, bearish bias, wait for prices to reach these areas and then uh, look for shorts either through long term options or futures. Uh, and uh, long should be kept only strictly intraday or short term income. A quick look at India VIX. What is India VIX doing? India VIX is nicely rising now. Uh, now with the rising India VIX, uh, uh, it shows that participants are a little uh, worried about the market, and that's how the volatility increases. So there's a good chance we could move all the way towards uh, uh, 13, 14, which could probably uh, lead the markets to go below again to 19,300, 400 levels. And if that breaks, we could then see it moving towards 15, which would uh, uh, bring the index down to maybe 19,000 and 18,800. So bullish uh, India VIX, uh, which is going to probably bring the overall index down. Now let's take a look at Bank Nifty. It's been more weaker as compared to Nifty. Uh, 
So on the monthly chart, if you see, we, we went below last year's uh, last month's low. And the next demand zone, if I have to at least look at as targets, is going to be somewhere close to 41,800. That's on the monthly demand zone. So though the trend is up, uh, it, got, it, it has been weakening for the last three, four months. And if this demand zone breaches, uh, the long-term uh, move could be towards this. But that's quite far-fetched. Uh, not to think about this right now. This is the range that we will look at. Trend is still up, but weakening. On the weekly chart, if you see, uh, uh, we broke this uh, first weekly demand zone, and the trend is uh, strongly down. Uh, so I I do expect a bank to at least go towards forty two thousand eight hundred uh, maybe this month or next month. So plan your trades accordingly because we would probably try to oscillate from this area again. So minimum target that I would look at is 43,500 this month if we fail to go beyond last week's high. Uh, that's the area where I would look to uh, book the shots uh, or uh, trail it uh, to see whether it comes here. A new longs can be initiated at this fresh area of demand zone, which is 41,500 on the weekly chart. Coming back uh, to the daily chart, Daily chart shows that Bank Nifty is much more weaker as compared to Nifty. Though so we have just gone below and started to move up, uh, uh, this index is not moving up much. So there is going to be a lot of uh, uh, supply available uh, for Bank Nifty from on the daily chart at probably this area that is 45,300 to 45,800. And if that supply holds, the next target could be 42,000. Uh, first is 43,400, second is 42,800 based on the daily charts. No demand zone that you could be uh, relying on. If you go to smaller time frames now, on the smaller time frames, we are moving up from a fresh area of demand zone here. Uh, this demand zone will uh, probably try to push index uh, to this area, which is where we have. Uh, there we can look at swing shorts at 45,600 uh, is a good area for uh, swing short in Nifty, uh, Bank Nifty for a target of let's say 42,400. Now, uh, this is quite a comprehensive move. So be careful about shorting here in this area. Once we trade beyond this area, that is 45,200 or levels, we could easily scale up to 45,500. So, and on the lower side, Maybe I will have to show you some smaller time frame zones. Uh, that's the area where Bank Nifty at the most might head to if we open down tomorrow and then try to make a fresh attempt to reach towards 45,200. So range bound trading as of now in the indices, but there are a lot of stocks which will give you swing shots uh, and a lot of stocks which can also out of Nifty 50 for uh, swing longs or cash longs. So uh, slightly bearish bias, short-term income longs allowed, but swing for swing shorts, wait towards 45,500 to 45,200. Uh, so that's going to be the range. I hope that helps and please go through this disclaimer. Uh, 